My father was not a farmer, my grandfather was not a farmer, but one of my uncle was a farmer and I loved his uh, lifestyle. Probably I choose nature and farming as a kind of uh, aspiring lifestyle. You know, life is, uh, is a kind of a circle, or, or I should say a succession of circles and a succession of uh, experiences. The corporate world in which uh, I was maneuvering gradually became less attractive to me. I, I was looking for another kind of life, closer to nature, and doing simpler things. So we looked at different opportunities. And then one day, uh, just by coincidence through a friend, we happened to know that the Clos du Célio Moine was, uh, was going to be sold. We came here, we saw the place, we didn't talk to each other. We were just falling in love. This place was just breathing history. We felt like we were opening a book. And there was a kind of magic spirit surrounding us during the visit. When we left, we said, this is it. This is where we want to start our life again. There is a lot of work. But this place is, is, is just for us. When we took over, it was in poor shape. The buildings were collapsing. The vineyards were in very bad shape. Uh, they had lost their identity. Also, the old 12th century uh, cellar was not big enough. Uh, and it was not also very appropriate to make uh, great wines for, for a number of reasons. And then we say to ourselves, yeah, we, to make greater wines, although we don't want to expand, we want to, really, to stay small and tiny, we need to build a new, modern, state-of-the-art, tiny winery. A full gravity winery where we would make wine from the grapes to the bottle, cascading down with no pumping, And, uh, and to have this underground in, this, in these rocks. That was a kind of a, another new baby and a new project, another dream coming true. The harvest, la vendange, as we call it, is also a great, uh, I would say, communion time where we share things together with the, with the family, with the team. We have been expecting that for one year, obviously. There is a lot of physical work, but there is also a lot of emotion. It's quite dramatic. Every harvest is a, is a different kind of an animal, and you need to adjust to that. You need to anticipate, you are worried, you don't sleep well the nights before you start. You look at the sky, you look at the clouds, you want to get some rain, but you don't want to get a storm. You want to make sure that there is no rot coming on the grapes. And then you wait for the perfect timing. And perfect timing is really the key to a successful harvest and a successful uh, vintage. Science could help you analyze a few things, but there is no better thing than your own judgment in tasting and appreciating the maturity of the grapes. Then, obviously, you need to bring in the grapes 
which had been cut by hand, and then carefully select each bunch of grape before putting it in the big vats for the fermentation. Catherine will do the sorting. Guillaume will be uh, mostly running the cellars and doing the winemaking task, uh, making sure that the grapes sorted by Catherine and, and brought by me are, are, are really of the best possible quality. And fermentation will start uh, after a few days of maceration. And this is a new life, you know, coming in the, in, in the vat. Uh, you can hear the juice talking. I mean, there is noise in the, in the barrels and there is these beautiful aromas coming out from the barrels. And, and there is a, you know, that wonderful life which is transforming juice in, into wine. I love what we are doing today. Reinventing ourselves, we left the corporate world to live our passion, doing simple things and achieving wonderful things with nature. And uh, I am enjoying every day uh, what I'm doing. Some days are physically hard, but as long as I can physically uh, do that, I would, uh, I will do it. What will be the future of this estate? Obviously, we hope maybe that one of our children will uh, jump out one day and say, I'm ready to take over. Time will tell. But assuming that this would not happen, what we feel good about is that this wonderful place, full of nine centuries of history, is in great shape now and uh, will not disappear as it could have disappeared 10 or 15 years ago. In a way, we resurrected the place. We gave it back its uh, status of a landmark. And I think we saved it for the posterity. And this is a great feeling.